Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel 2021. I'm back in my filming room and it just feels so weird to be back in filming. Oh my God, I'm back from Dubai. My wholeness has been deleted. <laughs> How you all doing? I feel like it just feels so weird filming. Like, what is this mic? What is this camera? What is this screen? Like, what's going on? So I wasn't sure what, what, what even to film because I feel like I've been in Dubai since New Year's. So I'm like, what do I do? So I thought I'd do a full phase of Tom Ford. We're gonna start 2021 bougie, sexy, and we're gonna do Tom, Tom Ford. Ford. So if you guys wanna see what a full face of Tom Ford was, almost a, <laughs> almost a full face of Tom Ford, keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so how is everyone doing? It's 2021, it still feels weird to be back. Obviously, I've been slacking, I've been slacking everything. I've just been having too much time and turning up in Dubai. Now I'm back to reality. So, okay, we're gonna start with Tom Ford. I actually thought I had a full face, but I had a primer. I know I had a moisturizer, I finished that. I don't have a primer, don't have a liner, but we're gonna make it work. I've actually got a foundation, blush, contour, highlight, concealer. And that's it. So it's basically a full face of complex products from uh, with Tom Ford. So we're going to go in with this foundation. I wanted to try this so much. This is the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation by Tom Ford. Packaging is like that. Um, it kind of looks like their primer. They actually did an illuminating um, moisturizer like this. I love the packaging. Really safe and trouble friendly. Um, compared to the other one that I reviewed, which is this one, which is a shade and illuminate. This has to be one of my favorite foundations ever that got released last year. The shade range is insane. I think this comes in a certain like same shade range range so this is in the shade 10.7 amber the shade 10.7 amber because i know a lot of people would ask me the shade this is the first impressions oh this looks it's very runny this looks a tiny i'm trying to think would this suit me where are my foundation brushes let me go shall i go with a foundation brush or a beauty blender this is how you know like i'm slacking because i'm, I'm not even sure where anything is i'm gonna go in with this fenty found oh <laughs> It's got a fragrance, I can smell, but yeah, this shade's a bit orange. Hmm. Cause I'm quite tanned at the moment too. I'm not sure where this is going, but it's fine. We move. So I'm literally gonna blend, oh, it's gonna blend out. I hope it blends out. Let me just apply it with a brush and then I'm gonna use a sponge. I'm wearing a durag because my hair literally was doing a madness in Dubai. So I literally had to take it out until I can get it done. But as you guys know, London is in a lockdown. So I'm gonna try and do it myself. Just waiting on the right material. So bear with me, a few tutorials might be in hats or durags just because, oh child, it's not cute under here. So I'm just gonna use a beauty blender to blend this out. If I can see this foundation is drying down quite quick. It does say it's a soft matte. I didn't even read out any I'm gonna try and get some information in a bit, but I feel like this shade might be a bit too light for me because I'm a bit tanned, but if I wasn't tanned, this shade would be perfect. Okay, so I'm literally just gonna put on some more foundation. It actually doesn't look that bad once it's blended out and dries down. This to me is drying quite fast and it is very, it's not very matte, but I can see it's matte by all the already how it's drying down. So this is 66 pounds. It's saying it's a very popular foundation. Oh, it comes in it comes in a lot of shades basically a matte foundation without looking flat cakey and dry it combines soft focus microfield powders that blur imperfections with wet extending pigments that provide meaning to full brilliant coverage the soft and silky texture is ultra blendable and it defends against caking pouring and settling the skin looks and moves like skin smoother over time after the foundation has been removed hydrating long wear Okay, it's got hyaluronic acid in there, vitamin C and caffeine. Okay, so caffeine waits to the skin. It defo looks super, super flawless on the skin. And I'm loving it. You can tell it's matte though. Hold on, I need to look in the mirror. Okay, wow, that's matte. It is matte. I know that's right. Oh my God, it's dried out. You can see how matte it is. That's matte guys. I like it, it looks flawless. I think you, it, these kind of foundations are nice because you can um, you can like manipulate them with moisturizers and stuff like if you want them dewy, but if you are oily skin, you're gonna love this foundation. I've got oily skin, so I think it's gonna look gorgeous. I can tell it's gonna photograph really, really well, period. Okay, so the concealer, um, this is all gifted by the way. So I chose this shade of concealer called Praline, but <laughs> This is giving me very <laughs> deer in headlights. So I'm definitely going to put something else on before I put this on because otherwise it's going to make me look very gray. So I'm going to have to use another concealer from another brand. It's so annoying because I really wanted to do a full face of Tom Ford. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use another concealer 
just here just to highlight a tiny bit because if i use that concealer oh child it's gonna be a madness but how's everyone anyway um I'm, I'm a bit i'm okay but i'm kind of like just thinking what's what's going on in life at the moment because we've gone into another lockdown i was living my best life in dubai thank you so much for everyone for the love on the vlogs and coming back here it's just like oh my god this is like real life like I feel like I'm not sure whenever what's going to happen. They said I've got a vaccine, but with a vaccine, you have to have to just follow the right precautions. Like a vaccine doesn't, you're not immune to COVID. It just, you have to have it. In child, anyway, it's just so confusing. But this is a Tom Ford, what's this called? The Emotion Proof Concealer. I actually love the name of this. And look at the doe foot. It's so unique. It looks like a little boot, like a little boot. Look at it, it's so nice. So I'm going to put some of that on. Can you see, look how bright it is. I'm literally just going to, leave it there just because i know if i do put that all over it's just gonna take the look to a whole nother level and i said to myself this year i'm gonna stay away from doing a super bright under eye but child let me just use a blender to blend that out i feel like maybe this concealer is definitely like a medium to sheer let me guys know if you've used a lot of tom ford products like tom ford at the moment is killing it and i hope they release more complexion this year i've got a few of their shadows here with me and i've got um their shade illuminate the contour um duo like i love that i just hope tom ford release more complexion because i feel like there's still so much tom ford cosmetics can do i know it's quite expensive but they could definitely release more nude lipsticks i haven't tried many of the lipsticks and i actually thought i had more i know i've got some of the lipsticks but they're a bit sparkly and i feel like for this look i don't want it to be I don't want it to be that moment. I want it to be like a matte moment. So I definitely want to have a look at their matte lipsticks. So I'm not even sure if they do matte lipsticks. I think most of their lipsticks are like satin and like, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, this concealer's nice. Really nice. I, th I thought it was going to be brighter than it was, but it's actually kind of calm. I'm going to add a bit more concealer. This is in the shade Praline. I feel like, hold on, let me put a bit more. I look so tired, like in Dubai. Like me and Danny, because we shared a room. Oh, yeah, this concealer is quite sheer, that's why it didn't go crazy. But we were just partying. Next club, actually, we weren't partying, like the clubs weren't mad in Dubai. They're still taking COVID very seriously. Every club you go to, you have to sit down, which is so annoying because sometimes you just want to dance and like bust it open. Do you know what I mean? But um, every club we went to, like you had to sit down, you couldn't really. If, if you got up to dance, security would tell you straight away to sit down. but. Oh my god, I really like this concealer. Okay, so I have to bring up facts about this concealer because I've never used this concealer before. It's £44. So it says Tom Ford's Emotion Proof Concealer, the lightweight, airy consistency. The concealer smooths effortlessly across skin. It's not a voice sticking into fine lines or pores. Um, impetch. <laughs> I just had a stroke. Imperfection free illusion with the waterproof feature allowing your makeup to remain pristine and luxurious. Oh, okay. So it is a lightweight concealer. I can see how it wouldn't really going to find lines because it's super lightweight like look how the, look how that's blended out no i need this in another shade like this in a darker shade would just bang oh my you see how light it was look how effortlessly it blended out no i love this concealer okay so far so good so i'm gonna use this is an oldie but a goodie so this is the shade illuminate by tom ford this one i've used so much so this is in the shade number three i used to use number two which is just a tiny bit darker than my skin tone it's such a good contour it's got a highlight bit there which i used to be obsessed with but i don't use it that much anymore um but this bit here i'm gonna use a smith brush because i have actually have got a tom ford one but i'm not sure where it is this for contouring is it looks darker than it is but this i tell you not blends out like it just blends out like butter that's how crazy it is i'm gonna contour my nose and i'm gonna contour my cheeks i would say this is dark but i've, I've definitely gone dark with my contour i know a lot of you guys are gonna be asking is sip and slay still happening sip and slay is still going on i know i've missed such vital stories but i'm just trying to get into the swing of things obviously it's like tax month here in the uk so a picture's gonna do her taxes. <laughs> I'm gonna do my taxes so I can't get arrested. That's suspicious. Please bear with me, I, it's my fault. Like I think, cause I've never been away from New Year's before. I literally just kind of, I didn't leave everything because I still done everything, but I've still just gotta get my stuff together. Look, look at my, my lip is sunburnt. Like look at my lip. Like I used um, a Kiehl's lip balm, which had SPF in it, which I thought was gonna protect my lips, but I guess not, so 
I'm not gonna lie, one thing that made me sad, which I heard was that Kim, what's look at me doing sip and slay while doing a video, you see what I did? It made me so upset because like, not upset, I weren't crying, but I don't know, you know when you, you know when you see like families like that and I've got so many kids and like they're breaking up, it's really sad because none of the kids are like 10 or 13. Every all the kids are like under 10. I think the youngest is like maybe two or three. So it's just kind of sad, but I know it's like, you know, first world problems, but it's just really sad. I just thought they would have lasted a bit longer, but Kanye was moving a bit mad, which I've spoken about before, so what can we do? I'm gonna blend out this. This, uh, this is really good for contour in the lips, by the way, because I feel like this tone of contour is just so natural and so cute. Tom Ford doesn't have loose powders. I could be so wrong, but I've never heard anyone say I've used a Tom Ford loose powder. They also don't have bronzers for deeper skin tones, which they totally could release this year. Seeing as Charlotte Tilbury's done it, um, has Chanel done it? No, Chanel hasn't done it. But you know, um, Nars have done it. All these brands are doing it. So I feel like this year we, we need to see more luxury brands releasing bronzers for deeper skin tones. Also, Tom Ford, we need like a loose powder because I'm just using another loose powder. You probably know which one it is. <laughs> Kunafa. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I want to use a brush for my loose powder. Do I? Do I? Let's take I've got product in there. Let me use a bit of, let me use a brush. Let me try something different because I saw this girl doing it the other day and I thought like, okay, let me just not use a beauty blender and use a brush. Ooh, I kind of like the way that looks. I'm actually really excited for makeup launches this year, but uh, I don't know. I just, I, I would really want our situation to end rather than more makeup releases because What's the point again all this to do makeup if you can't travel the world or like, you know, party or like, you know, even though makeup is very therapeutic, I just, I was just hoping 2021 was just going to be more of like a, you know, bad bitch, we just beat Corona kind of a year, but, you know, we're still here. Okay, so I've just put concealer on my lids. Um, I'm going to use this beautiful Tom Ford palette. This is called Suspicion. I think I've definitely also got another one. Yeah, this one's called Suspicion. It's really like bronzy and just really gorgeous look at that look how gorgeous that is i got sent this as well it doesn't have any mattes in here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna quickly just put some bronze on my lid and then we can work with the colors that we have in there because i don't have any mattes from tom ford which i thought i did but I actually don't so <laughs> i say it again it's a full person tom ford but we just don't have the in-between so it's all tom ford though what we're finna do is throw these away even though they're super beautiful um i just feel like if you don't have eyeshadow brushes in 2021 then what in the madness is going on? This, let me for the shadows. Ooh, super nice. Can you just see that? So nice. I'm not sure what color to use. I might go for this. Mm, I'm not even sure. Like, I don't, ugh. you know what? Do you not think it's crazy how no one really wears shimmer eyeshadows anymore? Like people just aren't fit. Well, people are, but I just feel like people don't really wear shimmer eyeshadows anymore. And I can't find a flat brush, let's see if I can use this. This shade is called, oh, there's no shade, there's, na there's no names. This is called Suspicion Palette. Ooh, this is nice. It, it looks a bit more cooler on the eye. Like I feel it's gonna be like a dirty bronze, like a sort of dark bronze. It actually looks, looks nice. I feel like with Tom Ford eyeshadows, I remember someone told me, told me this before, they're not supposed to be like super blinding with the palettes anyway, because when you think about the Tom Ford consumer, they don't want like a P. Louise kind of finish. They want more something they can build up. I remember someone telling me this when I worked in retail, that Tom Ford shadows are so nice, but they build up because customers want that freedom for it to be able to build up. And it just made so much sense because it's such a classy palette and the packaging Guys, I'm not sure how much the, pa the eyeshadow palettes are, but I know they are so expensive. But this color looks so, ooh. Really like this color. Guys, look how beautiful this color looks. I obviously need to blend it, but it looks so nice. It's like a natural, well, it looks natural my skin tone. Um, I'm gonna add this shade here. And I'm just gonna put that there, just to give like more of like an ombre effect. Like, oh my God. Sometimes I wish I had an Alexa. What is wrong with me? That looks nice. Because they're different colors of bronze, I feel like it's, this palette's kind of easy to manipulate, but I, I do kind of realize, why is there four shades of shimmers in here? This is a palette you would already use if you already owned matte. Yeah, this is nice. It's pretty. It's really pretty. But I feel like I need some oomph, you know? Let me spray this brush, because I literally haven't done this for so long. I like I haven't done eye looks for so long, like, when I was in Dubai, I didn't have any 
Oh yes, that's what we're talking about. We need that full shebang. Ooh, see when you wet it, it looks so much different. Like when it's not, that's crazy. Oh my God, when you wet them, they go so much more intense. Wow. So guys, I threw in some liner under my bottom under eye. Loving this palette. Obviously it's kind of like a natural, this is it natural? It's like a natural warm kind of glam, but I'm loving it. My lips are throwing me up because they're so burnt. But I've actually got some good news. I'm not sure if I like shared this with you, but my lashes, you know, Isla, Bad and Bougie are now available on ASOS. Ah! Broken set, Molly broken set, hey. So the lashes have been doing so, so well. I'm so happy with them. Um, Bad and Bougie this style. I actually need to use Snatch more, even though I love Snatch. Bad and Bougie on my babies also, but Snatch on my babies. But Bad and Bougie are available on ASOS to buy. I'll put a link down below in the description bar so you can buy them off ASOS. ASOS deliver to more um, more places than I could have even imagined. They're exclusive to Boots, but now ASOS do have them also. Um, I'm not sure if they're available in ASOS in America. You can try, but... <laughs> No, no. But yeah, that's really good news. So I'm gonna uh, put Bad and Bougie on off camera, period. All of you bitches is food. If you're the app, you're gonna be singing the blues. These lashes just do something to me. They just do. I love you guys commented on my vlog where I went home for Christmas that you love the dog. Did I tell you guys that dog literally gave me allergic reaction? So imagine, and they're stroking a dog now. Cute, dog's cute, running fast. So I stroke the dog. I'm not sure if it's because the dog's saliva, but I remember just like, my eyes were burning and I was like, maybe it's my contact lenses. So I took my contact lenses out. Why are my eyes bulging at my head? It's just so sad because I really, I would love a dog, but child, so this is the Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder. So you've got a blush and a highlight. This blush is definitely gonna be a bit more on the sheeny side. So I'm not gonna put too much on because we don't wanna be highlighted everywhere. But oh, this is pretty. I don't really tend to grip. Oh, this is really nice. I don't tend to gravitate towards shimmery blushes that much because I wear highlight, but I don't mind them if it's like an on the own thing. But you know, this is cute. I don't want to overload it, but yeah, that's really pretty. It's not it's nothing too intense, which I do like, you know? Okay, so I'm going to go into this top shade here. This, let me swatch. I don't think I'm every, ooh, that looks blinding. Let me try and use some of uh, ooh. <laughs> it's me, y'all. Hey, Nick. I think I've used too much. That looks very crazy. Okay, let me just blend that out. Ooh, it blends out like a dream, though. But definitely very intense. It's fine. I'll put some setting spray on just to calm it down. Like that. And I'll put some on there just so this side has something to stick to. I didn't, I didn't expect this to be... So what blinding, I've had this in my collection for a long time and I don't think I've ever used the highlight side. Ooh. Actually, it's one of those highlights that don't have, it's not glittery, it's just more it looks wet, which I do love. And I don't see Tom Ford as like a shimmer highlight person. Let me put some blush on just to blend that out. Okay, so I'm literally gonna go and do my lips. Um, I don't have any Tom Ford lip products and I think that's all the Tom Ford products I've got. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish off the lips and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look, guys. What do you think? <laughs> like this lip, I can't say what it is yet. It's nothing like mine, but um, I wanna use it in another video, but it's just actually really pretty, it's really cute. But anyway, um, I actually really like the face. Let me look in the mirror just to assess everything. Some of these mirrors have film on them. Oh my God. So all I can say is that I actually liked everything. For me, I love the foundation. The foundation is gorgeous. I was a bit scared it was gonna be a bit too matte for me, but as you set it with um, a setting spray, it just looks super, super gorgeous. I feel like the color was perfect for me. As you can see, the color matches me so nicely. I think once I added a little highlight and contour, it just really, really got into place. I really like this concealer, like love, love, love. I wanna try it in different shades. This shade, again, is light, but it, it doesn't look that bright once I've said everything. Like, I've definitely worn bright concealers on this channel, but um, I really like this concealer. I'm definitely gonna get some more in other shades. I really like the highlight quad, actually. Where is that? Was that here? Yeah, I really like this highlight quad. That was the highlight quad in 
incandescent. I'm not sure if this was limited edition, but I love this. The highlight looks stunning. The blush looks stunning. I really like that. The contour, you guys know, as you can see, I've used loads of it. Love the contour. I feel like it's a very natural contour. Eyeshadows, Tom Ford had this quad and it had like a yellow in it. I wish I got that. I feel like these colors for me, I'm not sure if I'd spend that much money on these colors because the colors that are in that quad, you can get them anywhere. So Tom Ford actually does a lot of shadows that are colorful and quite limited edition. So I probably want to get my hands on one of those, but this is pretty anyway. I feel like they wear nicely. So cute. I'm definitely going to use that foundation a bit more. Let me guys know if you like this video and if you enjoy me doing full face brand reviews, I can do it. It's not a bit of a review, but you know what I will try on. So I can definitely do it for you. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you in Sunday's vlog. I love you guys so much. And you know, if you have any video ideas, let me know. And the winner of the last year's competition will be announced in the vlog. So peace out. A-Town. Bye. <laughs>